What's up guys, this is James First, and welcome back to more Let's Play Sly Cooper Thieves in Time last time. We went inside Ryoichi's sushi shop and took back the place, or at least send El Jefe a message. And today we have two missions available, prettier and pinker. Wait, pretty and pinker. I don't know why I said prettier. And something's fishy. We're gonna do something as fishy as Murray. Is excited to finally get some action, but first, let's buy him a move. Uh, let's see. Let's do. I always like how Murray's uh, moves are like Spanish. Well, some of them. Uh, is this even Spanish? I know L is. El ball, el dropo, combo. I am so sorry for that. <laughs> All right, let's buy it. This will be our move of the day. Just square and triangle, and let's do it. We will do Ryoichi soon, but just wait. Okay, now where is his... It's over there, and wow. I just realized we only have nine bo clue bottles left. That's awesome. That's awesome. I don't know why I sounded like that. All right, let's do the uh, elbow, elbow. Oh, that's the shuriken. I was about to say, I knew I got that sly mask. Oh, we have a unsuspecting guard here. Let's let's do that. And okay, there we go. Like I said, I don't really use these moves. I'm just showing them off because I like showing off everything in games. I know some things haven't changed, like the Pokemon stuff and the sly, or not the sly, the. Uh, Link's Awakening bonus stuff, but oh, that's why I'm taking damage. I shouldn't be breaking these. And is there a bottle around here? I need... I don't hear it. So, yeah, I'll be fine. Let's just begin the mission. Is he gonna get us? It's been a long time since we went fishing, Bentley. I'm excited. Well, this is no vacation, Murray. We need to help Ryuichi get back on track as a sushi chef. And what he needs most right now is fish. We're here because these caves are his secret spot for catching the best fish. Unfortunately, judging from this security lock, it looks like El Jefe's been here too. Can you open it, buddy? Are you kidding? I've never met a system I couldn't hack. Don't worry, Murray. We'll be fishing in no time. Navigation is smooth and steady. The uh, right stick should fire by binary packets. Check. Welcome to Asteroid Sly Cooper Edition. Probably my. Uh, I would. I'll probably say this is my favorite mini game out of all the, all of Bentley's ones. I can uh. Bits to level up! Of course, by combining multiple ionic particles, I can supercharge my attack! But taking damage will drop my valence level. Yes, a logic bomb! I need to grab that! Configuring the R1 button to detonate logic bombs! And there are multiple enemies such as these guys. Um, I believe there are some other enemies. There's only a few enemies in these this uh in this Bentley minigame, but hey, they're not too bad. Um and also touching these purple blobs don't hurt you. Those guys don't, those guys are jerks though, they attack you. And if you get hit you go down a level, so it's not bad. I believe you could go up to level and I want to say it is possible. I have done it before, but you can like continue getting things, but I don't think you ever go past level 10. That's the only thing. These red ones up here, though, they instantly give you a level. So awesome. And I got hit. Uh, just to kill these guys, really. They're annoying. I can use the hell. Uh, we might actually get to level 10. 
Then we serves me right. Uh, I thought that guy was going up. I don't even know their names, but I don't really care to know. Now we're shooting missiles out of this. <laughs> oh my god. I love Bentley. It's just so funny, like him, and just the dialogue in general in this game. Uh, these ghost ones are kind of annoying. They take a couple of hits, but overall not too bad. And also, hiding behind these barriers is kind of tough, even for this minigame, since if you're even in it, you'll still get hit somehow. I know it's really stupid, but hey, that's how it works. Oh! Okay, level 9. Wait, we didn't even get to level 10? Oh, well, there we go. Before we actually continue, we need to go back here and grab a slide mask. We're almost at 10, surprisingly. Uh, okay, I thought these things would break. Can I jump on Bentley? Dang, it's honestly... I don't know why I'm sounding like that. It's honestly interesting to see how the height difference is. And look at Murray. It freaking frog ruined my ruined my shot. Anyway, let's just go on here and mash. Okay, Murray, we need to find the secret fishing hole. Let's try that gate over there. Think you can open it? No problem, chum. Fresh fish coming up. I guess you could say we're fishing for fish. Uh, well, something is fishy. Going in here inside these fish mines or fish tunnels, and looks like some people met their end here. Your skulls. Hold up, Murray. Those mammoth lightning bugs will give you a nasty shock. Lucky for us, that large plant is a giant lamp leaf. Hitting it will make it glow and attract the bugs. Give it a whack and get those things out of our way. Awesome. You know how much I like to hit stuff. <laughs> of course we know Bentley. Er, not Bentley, Murray. Wow. Feel bad for Murray now that I confused him up Bentley. Uh, let's hit these and get the hell out of the way from these things. These things are creepy, I mean... Uh, the plant does go back to normal after a while, but these things, those flies are like so creepy looking. I know, it's just weird. Okay. Got some gold for our troubles. And we have enemies? Nope. Spike traps. Alright. Oh. Did not mean to touch that. Well, I did mean it. <laughs> did you see Finley trying to fly? That was funny. Be careful jumping on those lily pads, Murray. This is one situation where your muscle mass may be problematic. Grab this boulder. And good, it's actually showing us since we haven't used Murray for like five episodes at this point. Let's hurry! The fish should be biting right now! Jump on you. And can we uh, there we go. I, I momentarily forgot there was a run by and I'm so used to just doing it with Sly. Okay. Was there? No, just fire. Alright. Let's see, without a real fishing pole, I'm gonna have to use this old magnet for Murray's toy robot. I've calibrated its output to coincide with the fish's own bioelectric fields, 
So if I could keep it close enough, it should attract them like a charm. Talk about animal magnetism. I just need to tilt like this to move it around. Yeah. This, uh, this, this game features huge. tilt motions and all that motion controls, I know. People were tired of it in the yeah, Wii. And it's in the PS3. Alert. Eh, companies like to copy off each other. I can't really blame them. If something's successful, then other companies are bound to try it. Luckily, there's not that much tilting. It's only in this minigame and a few other instances, but it's not like you have to use tilting a lot just for minigames, which is pretty cool. Uh, get two more. Oh, come on. That's right, come to the top. Seven and eight. Okay, Murray, take that fish to the cart. Luckily, we are in no time limit, so don't worry about rushing. Murray, Just you take won't your time and activate that plant while holding the fish. Try throwing them into that old cart. You can pick them up again after you get rid of those lightning bugs. And these things weren't here before. I know. Weird. And can I just say how the plants look? Or not the plants. The fishes we caught all look the same. I kind of would have liked if there's... You know, I understand if, Sly, if raccoons can't swim, but Sly's a freak... Or... Murray's a hippo, and Bentley's a turtle, and they both fall in it. I know, it's just... It's very weird. But anyway, I, I would like to see if there was a mix of these uh, fishes. Because there's only two, it would make sense, like, maybe just one of the other ones on the top. I don't know, just a nitpick I have. Is it you? Get out of the way before these creepy-ass bugs come after it. And why not? You could come to the other one. I don't really care. Grab you, and we can't run while carrying stuff. That's. Eh, well, it's to be expected. Let's just get over here, and now we're good to go. Oh, throw it. Man, this is a serious load! Oh, do you think Ryoichi will make us some sushi as a reward? I'm not sure, but let's just get this fish back to him without El Jefe's goons turning us into sashimi. Never fear, Bentley. Nobody makes a hippo roll out of the Murray. <laughs> oh my god. Murray's poses are the best thing, just trust me. I know I said I don't really like playing as him, but those little instances and poses are really good. I also really like his character. But, hmm, you know what? Even though I would do another mission, I still stand by that each episode needs to be its own mission since they are pretty long. I mean... We're already 16 minutes in, and that that was just one mission. I don't really like going overboard, unless it's absolutely necessary, because Persona 3 was a JRPG, and that's long. And that would have been like 200 episodes if I only went like for 15 minute episodes. And a good chunk of them were 15 minutes, or to 20. I don't really know. But anyway, I am going to go around and sl with Sly and see if I can find any more clue bottles before calling it quits. So... Back to hunting. Right over here on the map. Right there on the map. There is a clue bottle here. That should be 22, right? Yep, only 8. I thought for sure I got this treasure. I didn't? Oh no, I'm thinking of the Jade Peach and the treasure has been lost. Alright, let's try that again since... I, for some reason, got this mixed up with another treasure. Come on, make it, make it, make it, make it, make it. You can make it. I can make it. I don't think I can make it. No, I didn't. At least the treasures don't explode in this game. 
right over here on the map is another one. And right below it is this thing. Which shouldn't take us too long since the hideout is right here. I mean, I understand if you go the long way, but still. And, okay. Just grab you to the hideout and knock you out. What is this? The golden teapot, alright. And I believe that treasure I failed at getting is... Ooh, I'm not sure if it if it's the final one or not. There are more treasures, but we need some other stuff beforehand. Um, how are we doing? Only seven bottles left. Uh, I don't really like rushing it, but if we could get all the bottles, that'd be great. I doubt we will. I will get all of them, it's just that I don't think I'll be able to get all of them, like, in this episode. <laughs> I know it's a weird way of explaining it, but hey, it is what it is. Right over here at these two uh, dragon heads. Dragon heads, dragon heads. There's a bottle, I knew this one was here. It clicked back to me, and there's nothing below these. Might want to remember these stuff for later. Ooh, actually, I don't think I've shown any of the treasures yet in Feudal Japan. No way, I think I showed one and it was the Kabuki Mask. And hey! A bottle here. I don't want to grab it though since it will alert the guard. Yeah, it's a different one. Alright, there we go. Mahjong Dial. For the life of me, like, I usually complete games on my own term, which I usually don't go for, uh, there's some, I'm very lenient on what I want to do. Like, if it's a game I could feasibly, like, that's so easy to complete, uh, I can. But Mahjong, get reminds me of the freaking Yakuza games. And I know I say it like that. I'm just so used to saying it like that. Because I know people say it differently. But, there's that freaking Mahjong, uh... Thing. Like, even just beating the game, like, nets you like 10% of total completion. I know it's weird. But I enjoy the Yakuza games, what can I say? And I wanna say. Ooh, is there a bottle on this route? I might have gotten it. I don't wanna. Honestly. Oh, dang it, I always get them mixed up. Okay, we have five clue bottles left. I want to get one more and then we'll call it quits. So, let's find it. Right in where we did the mission earlier today, earlier in today's episode, we have a clue bottle and that's going to be it, alright? We have four clue bottles left and we still have a ton more prepping to do to uh, get El Jefe out of here and save Japan. So, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Next time on Let's Play Sly Cooper Thieves in Time, we are going to be pretty in pink. Why did I say it like that? <laughs> okay, see you guys then.